kind of shut down Hero's game plan. It's like, aside from his really good normals that he can use with his neutral tools and everything like that, yeah, he has the Kazap and the Zap, he plays around a lot with that menu, and he wants to get the buffs up, he wants to get the oof, he wants to get the psych up, and Zap is immediately doing just that, taking Sola already to 72% sliding in there with the Clown Guard. Listen Oops. man, this is not Yoda Cage, but you can still, any Junior can put you in the cage, bro, 81% is absolutely oh nothing to scoff at, so much damage already coming out, now trying to find an opening here, Sola, trying to take it back, just take a step back, finding that jab, it's like, yo, relax, give me a second to think, a Ooh. man's got to read! Let me get in my study and find a spell real quick. Yeah, it's like my reading comprehension's immaculate, but I gotta get time to read. I, I can comprehend it, but I gotta read it first, bro. Give me yeah, something yeah, to read yeah. and I can read it. Oh my it. god. Take it on reads. That grab on the the startup of Clown Car actually insane. And he's already trying to get this trapping going very strong. And now this is where you want Bowser Jr. at this range to where you can just pull up the spell menu, get up mm. all your moves, but Zap. Oh, we, we were very familiar with that Clown Car. We already know the dealio. Very good stuff closing out there with the clown car. And now finding even more damage. 41% casting the jump there with those up airs. Not I think for more of those uh there's more of those normal junior setups that just find just calling out those jumps, doing a great job. But Sola catching that aggressive dash tag, the spot dodge into the oomph. Find that down throw, even finding more damage. That's the nice thing too, like even getting bounced off the menu and you have a, an answer against your mech Koopas and uh -oh. the cannonball. No but zap with the aggressive offstage play. Ooh, mm -mm. That's going to be a, a tough one against Hero. All right, immediate kaboom. He, he did not want to deal with that. Immediately, you just got to shake it off, walk it off, buddy. And he's trying to go right into it. But again, Zap is playing so strong with this pressure, not really allowing Sola to really operate in this menu. But hold on, here we go. We finally got an oof on the board. Let's see what else we can get going strong. Well, we're trying to find a Matt Koopa set up there. Not going to find that one just yet. I think for the down tilt there, too. Now, CM7 trying to find the ledge trap here. Solo trying Ooh. to find the air. I'm like the use of that nair there, too. Oh my gosh! Oh no. Ain't no way. The crap slash finding him the hit there? Still gonna find that up tilt. Yeah, Solo's doing a really good job of catching, uh, like, Zap, like, hesitating when he gets close, right? Knowing mm -hmm. Zap's gonna go for an aggressive option, but still trying, somehow finding a way in. But Solo's just really struggling to take the stock right now. Yeah, and he really tried to get the stock with the dash attack, but unfortunately, Bowser Jr. was just able to swing again with the back air. And Zap with a little bit of an overextension, just trying to get the stock from Sola. And Sola, though, is still in a really bad situation, but hold up the zoom in question coming out, escaping all of that Bowser Jr. business. Mm, speaking of the Bowser Jr. business, that's the move that puts you in business, baby. That spin out right there, the classic from Zap. Honestly, we, we, if you watch enough of Zap, especially today at this point, you know, he banks on those junior side Bs. Those cart spin outs do him fantastically. As, and us, like, we've been seeing all day, like, he's been doing so well. I just find those whiff punishes with that move. Power Minecart Jr. <laughs> it's quite, it just reminds me of Power Minecart, but it's just Bowser Jr. size now. It's, it's a very strong move. It's a very good burst option, which, you know, how Sola's giving, you know, this range to Zap to kind of just get the spell menu, try to get a, just t taper on things with the oomph, the psych ups, and the buffs, and everything like that. And Zap's like, okay, okay, while you're thinking, while you trying to get your reading comprehension up, I will throw in these clown card chases, and I will just run over your stocks. Yeah, definitely, you know, and the thing, too, is, um, Zap not only uses the side B to close up the stocks, but reposition himself. So as we saw mm -hmm. earlier, how he came back, even at 165%, came back on the stage, used spin out to bounce around Solo's shield, so he could not find the grab to find the punish there. And we're seeing him trying to use it early on in the set. I think Solo's trying to realize, like, hey man, this side B's are, these side B's are getting a little ridiculous. Yeah, and I think somebody has to punish these. This is a pretty good stage for Hero, I want to say, because you can have a lot of maneuverability around the platforms. Just put the neutral B, and or, you know, you can just throw out a kaboom like that, just not wanting to deal with anything like that. But it can also go in tandem with Bowser Jr., who's able to get a lot of extensions off that platform, especially for the rod combos. Mm. Find that landing there with the sizzle. And opening the up air is gonna do it. Good stuff there, calling out that side special again. Sola focusing on one thing this game, and that is the Bowser Jr. spin out. And he's had absolutely enough of this move. Ooh. But Zap immediately firing it right back, saying, hey, I don't need to spin out the close the stock. I got a back air right here, buddy. 
Yeah, Zap got the call out, Solo got the call outs, and I liked what Solo was doing, right? Solo chose this battlefield stage to kind of just narrow down Zap's path to where he can call him out properly and kind of control him in this stage. But one thing that we've been seeing time and time again, Zap's ability to just call out a lot of these jumps, a lot of these drifts with that backer to just threaten it in question. But hold on, Solo being so mm. controlling here in this second stock. Like the idea there, very good the call out there from Sola. Now up two stocks to one. Ooh. Stop. Struggling to find an opening here. Finally finding landing with that nair. Catching the rolling with the up air? Insane damage there. Trying to close up the combo there with the side special. Still not gonna do it. This <laughs> Jow Jr. finding <laughs> so much damage. Now looking to find the edge guard here. Oh. Force smash not gonna connect just yet. Yeah, not gonna get two frame there. Solo, alright, nice composure. Able to get in a Kafriz there. Or a Frizzle there. Mm -hmm. And there we go, runs up and gets the grab as well, trying to get the trapping going on. And yeah, he's just still putting himself inside this race to just react to that clown car spin to just throw out these huge normals. Oh yeah, definitely using that spin there. Oh, Finding the spin out there at the end. So Zap down 21%, but still looking as confident as ever, using that side special there to reposition around those platforms. The benefit to Battlefield as Bowser Jr. is definitely going to be sitting on the top platforms, being able to reposition whenever you want, and just looking for Solo to make that mistake. But then, wait, playing so defensively against Hero, you're giving him access to all those spells whenever he wants. Yeah, and I like the way he's using that forward air in tandem with his toolkit as well to just snipe out a lot of these jump arounds, just trying to call it that, just wanting to sit on a lot of these top platforms, and he's trying to go it all for it, risk it for the biscuit, but he's going to be holding a lot of damage, but he is able to get out with the neutral now. He's still... Oh, oh the my. magic burst! I haven't seen that him. move in three years. He hit him with the spirit bomb. The, the spirit he of said, Jersey. He give me your energy. energy! Give me your energy! The entirety of New Jersey in the chat. Yo, I thought they passed the move with the game. The Ramapo Stevens. I Good thought life. they passed the move with the game. That's, that's crazy. I mean, honestly... Like, we call him a madman, right? We call him a crazy after, but honestly, that was actually mad smart. You look so at this, right? Good. Okay, okay, so he throws out the Mechuba, right? Right here. We've seen Zap come back for that so many times with the side special, right? Mm -hmm. There's only so many options you can do here. Either you can somehow try to air dodge down the ledge, either try to get back onto the platform, or set up there with an aggressive option, right? Yes. So it's just like, wait a minute, no matter where you go, I just hit the funny button. Ooh. I just covered everything. Dang. There's a big circle that just says, no. And he could have no. shielded there, but he just was caught, catching a little stroll. But he caught a stray for that stroll, unfortunately. But we are switching things up to small battlefield, which again is pretty good for Sola because you have this limited range that you're gonna just shut down for Zap using a lot of the clown cars and be able to call him out on a lot of his movement. But Zap able to answer right back with a lot of these up airs. Here you go, finding so much damage there. Finding oh, the F smash no. there on the, the air dodge. Yeah, Solo getting a little too comfortable getting back to stage. And no matter what happens there, man, like even no matter how you're uh, looking, still uh -oh. finding that damage. Zap trying to find, they're taking the jump, uh -oh. like you said. Find the Nair coming back there too. The eject, but the, the tech there is such an insane play from Solo. It's still down 70%. In the first 40 seconds of this game, Solo is struggling right now. Yeah, but he is surviving a lot of these two frames, and he got caught with a tick throw in Smashy Brothers. Oh my god. But okay, able to run it back. Grab a jab, it out. You already know nah, that move is so potent for killing. Way. That's disgusting. Jeez, I didn't even see. I didn't even see. <laughs> Zap looking uh -oh. fantastic right now. Uh, oh, oh, he, uh, he's, okay, he's able to make it back. That was a strategic not matching there out of this news. <laughs> able to get back on the stage, have that bounce on lines. So you definitely have a, a tool to deal with that Met Koopa. Solo trying his hardest to get back into this game. Knowing it, it was Hero, you're never really losing. So, so you're able to yeah, make no. this back. And, and I just it, want to mention for the, a brief fact that with the snooze off stage, if you're in the air, you can match out of it to quicker, get out of yeah. it way mm -hmm. faster. Mm -hmm. So very good move on Zap, even though he, he almost had a sweat for a little bit. But okay, try to grow up with the Christmas tree right now. Try to get that stock off. But Zap still, no fear, challenging Solo at every turn. Going super aggressive off stage, even with such an insane lead right now. Looking really comfortable, throwing out that cannonball there on the shield. Just keeping Sola guessing there. Finally finding the stock there with the up throw. Catching Zap, getting a little too overzealous. But now you're still up two stocks to one. Sola doing everything in his power to try to get back into this game. Even with that oomph online, fighting that jump there too. He's doing a really good job of catching Zap's recoveries here. 
All right, still holding on to dear life as Zap just still swinging for the fences with the forward airs and trying to just get him in the mix with the clown car. And still back to reading comprehension and back to the ledge again. Time and time again, Sol is still finding himself at the uh -oh. mercy uh -oh. of Zap's trapping and it's looking to be a close ear. E still able to make it just uh -oh. fine. Standing strong. Now we have the downfall coming out, sitting at that devious angle. Zap turning out with the cannonball. Looking to get across all safety. A jack coming out and that will take a stock off the left side of the screen. Doing a fantastic job of fighting the stocks and taking, abusing Hero's recovery. Mm -hmm. Doing that fantastically, very good stuff to Zap. Taking that set, it's a game three, a nail biter game three, if anything. Like, yeah, this sequence was just so good. He mm -hmm. already got him with the commitment to the low recovery. It was able to just drop down the up B to kind of close out that dealio right there. Mm -hmm. Very good stuff to him. Poor Zap going going right into winter semis, guaranteed himself at least fifth here as you know 300. Man, Florida represent, bro. Ooh, he's going on to fight Samba. Oh, that's gonna be a ooh, banger of a set. Ooh. That's gonna be a good set. Of course, it's gonna be in top eight, but still good stuff to these players. So still, still making a very insane run. Still got some life left in losers. We got some other Jersey guys. Of course, WebJP still coming through, getting that win over Guy Guy. Got a bunch of other people still in bracket. We got Dylan and <laughs> Dylan John numbers oh fighting God. for really? 17th. I would love to see that on stream. They're I see that right. It's on the stream. These right women there. are having a bounty. <laughs> let's go right to that. Let's go yeah, to that, Devin. Let's see the goats fighting it. These women are having a bounty off right now. Let's get into it. Oh, Where's the Samus girls out? are fighting. The girls are fighting. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Damn, so running it back. We can't watch the bounties. Boo. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Just for a little. little just 